hell, you got it messed up now. Why would you even leave the damn school where it was safe? What teacher would suggest such a goddamn thing? Now look at y'all run down the street. Run, Jenny, run! Watch out! Hey, what's up, folks? So, uh, in this episode, what we're trying to do is how do you keep the birds from eating your fruit off your fruit trees or eating your berries off your berry bushes? So, what we're going to do is a DIY tree cage? Bird cage? Well, basically, we're going to build a cage to keep the birds out from eating our tree. Um, we're going to do it using PVC pipe from our local big box hardware store. So here you can see I'm sketching out the tack of the birds um, and pretty much sketching out what that uh, bird cage is going to look like. And this is the basic premise of the idea. Um, so what we're going to do is cut to me constructing this using PVC pipe. Hey, I just want to share sort of the shopping list if you're considering building something like this. So for the for the tree bird cage uh, what we started with was about six pieces of the one inch diameter um, 10 foot uh, PVC pipe uh, the next thing uh, you're gonna need is your elbow connectors about eight of those four on top four on the bottom um, we didn't use any glue to connect them or keep them connected because we want to be able to break it down and store them in the garage um, when we don't need them anymore or if we want to um, use it for something else later on um, and then finally, you're going to need some bird netting. Um, and again, you could probably get all this uh, from the same um, big box store of your choice. Um, and then uh, what I did on my side, I used something similar to a, a miter saw, or you, you can use a saw or any type of table saw to make your cuts sort of nice and um, clean. So on the next video, when I get into putting it together, it's really super easy, really super quick. Okay, so this is the uh, tree, I mean the tree protector. So here is PVC pipe, it's one inch, one inch PVC pipe. We have these connectors, so we have about four of these, uh, eight of these for the top and for the bottom. And so it's about 24 inches or so deep and about eight inches, eight feet or so high. And so we didn't glue them in, just so in case we want to break it down and um, put it in the garage. But after you put it together, you snap it together, then you get this bird netting, and then you just wrap it around. You can use these clips. These clips are more used for like um, beach towel clips or something like that. And then you just clip it and that kind of keeps the birds out. Here you can see these uh, 
these juicy nectarines are, are coming. So, and believe me, the birds have noticed. So they'll come and they'll perch up and they'll land. Uh, they'll land up here and sit um, and look down. So, so this is the bird cage netting, just in case you need to protect your uh, your fruit trees. The idea is that we'll probably just keep cutting it to size to keep it inside of the inside of the bird cage. And then another thing we did for the blueberries is we took, I believe this is three quarter inch PVC pipe and then, or half inch, one of the two. And then here we just bent it, so we took two rebar. And so inside of here there's rebar. So you have two 24 inch rebars, you put them in the ground, you bend this and you kind of make this sort of a tunnel. And this tunnel is for the blueberries. And here you see there's lemonade blueberries in here already. We actually seen some birds land on here and try to get these blueberries. So again, we just put the bird netting on top just to keep them to keep them out. Hey, thanks for watching and please subscribe, share, and uh, comment if you've done anything similar. Please share your experience as well. Take care.